Welp, if you're still trying to get your hands on a PS5, which you probably are because they're hard as hell to come by, congratulations, you can now win a lottery system, but it seems kind of scammy, and it's no different than what we have with PS5 Direct. Let's talk about it. Alrighty guys, sharing my screen here, I have an article pulled up. This will be sourced or cited down there in the description below. And basically, what the heck? That's not the right... There we go. That's the article we're looking at. So just like in 2020, the PS5 has proven very difficult to order in 21. Yes, yes, it has. Doesn't matter what retail you're going through, whether it's Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop, Newegg, etc. They're hard as hell, and they sell out in minutes. But a UK retailer has now announced that it's going to have PS5 VIP Pass which is more or less a lottery system. And more or less how it's gonna work is whenever there's new stock from this vendor, it's gonna send uh, some PS5 VIP pass holders a code via email, which validates them to, uh, guarantees them a 72 hour window to lock in their console. And then if you're not selected, if you're still a VIP member, you're gonna be in the lottery pool for future, future restocks. Unfortunately, there doesn't appear to be any priority system, which means it doesn't matter when you sign up because the codes will be sent out at random. That is exactly like PS5 Direct. I cannot tell you how many times I got in queue. And, you know, full disclosure, I didn't lock in my PS5 through PS5 Direct. I got mine through the uh, Navy Exchange. But they're not as bad as Walmart. I guess Amazon's pretty damn bad too. But I gotta say, PS5 Direct is pretty garbage too with their, their system, how they run it, because... You get into queue, but it, it means it means no difference whether you were the first person in line or the 300th person in line because it's randomized. You get your ticket pulled, not in sequential order. So it's very frustrating, especially when you, you know, were the first person in queue, but it, it means nothing. So this is also random. So in other words, not a queue, but quite literally a lottery system where everyone in the pool has an equal chance of getting a code. And best of all, it costs nothing. So when I when I heard this, when I start, first started reading this article and I heard PS5 VIP pass, I was thinking, hmm, scam, for sure scam. Maybe not a blatant, like, gonna rip you off, but, like, they're gonna charge you to get on a list and then you're most likely not gonna get a console from it anyway and you're just throwing your money out. But it is free, so that's awesome. And it is still taking applicants right now. I will have this article linked in the description below. You click on this link, it'll take you there to sign up. But a little little tidbit of bad news might be a deal breaker for you guys. Probably is. I think it is. Uh, this is only in the UK, and it's for in-store pickup orders. So if you lock in your console, you want to make sure you go ahead and lock in an airline ticket as well. Oh, <laughs> Um, and that's probably going to be your best bet of getting one of these consoles for probably the next six to eight months. I've covered a ton of news around the new gen consoles, the Xbox Series S and X and the PS5 digital and optical version. And I had uh, made a video about two months ago and it was very promising. It seemed like more stock was on the horizon, but that hasn't really proven to be the case. That never solidified, that never came into fruition and a lot of people are still fucked. So... Yeah, these are super hard to come by. I mean, I don't have to tell you guys this, you know. So yeah, linked in the description below. You might have a chance of getting one of these. Just make sure your passport's up to date and everything and you um, are ready to fly to the UK. All right, guys. Peace.